Hello everyone, I'm Gutter Man, and today I'm gonna show you how I set up my missiles. First of all, we're gonna set up a simple printer. One large grid welder welds 5x5 five five small grid blocks. So for this video, three in a row will be fine. We'll also use a hybrid hinge to convert the block size. Like this. We'll need a merge block to attach the missiles to. Timer for our launch sequence. A projector for our blueprint. Here I'll just place a power block and some control stuff. This should probably already be on your ship, so I won't go up into that. You should rename the merge block. I forgot to record it, but here I just named it Small Merge Ship. Now for the missile. I made this skinny one and I'll circle it uh, so you should be able to recreate it. Like you see, it's missing some blocks. First, we'll place one timer. Then, we'll place one AI flight block. Remember to turn it so that its bottom arrows point to the front. And last, we'll place one AI offensive block. Same thing here, arrows pointing forward. Now, let's set up the AI blocks. First, we'll set up the AI flight. Turn collision avoidance off. Set speed limit to 100 meters a second. Minimum altitude should just be set at zero. That's it for the AI flight block. For the AI offensive block, We'll set target search interval to 5 seconds. The attack pattern will be intercept. Set guidance type to target prediction. Like this. Alrighty, now for the timer block. Change the name to timer activate. Toggle on silence and set the delay to 8 seconds. This could be lower, but here we're gonna go with 8. Now we'll set up actions. Drag down the AI flight block and choose AI behavior on. Do the same with the AI offensive block and AI behavior on. Alrighty. Now we need to make two kind of groups. First of all, we're gonna group all the warheads together. Let's just call them warheads. Second group we're gonna make is the thrusters.
Let's just call them Rastas. Now we'll press start on the timer and quickly save the missile with control B while aiming at the merge block. When that's done, place the missile onto the printer. Like this. Then go to the ship's K menu and find a timer on the ship. Rename it Timer Launch. Toggle on silence and set the delay to one second. Now let's set up actions. Go into groups or search for thrusters and drag them down and choose toggle block on. Drag down the warhead group and choose arm on and off. Then we'll find our welders and group them together as well. Now we'll group together the welders, projector and ship merge block. Name it printer on and off. Now we will turn off the small merge ship block to detach our missile. Now for the projector. I find it easier to use remote control when placing a blueprint into the projector. Go to the K menu and find the projector. Choose blueprints and choose the one with the activated timer block. Remember to press keep projection. Here you just gotta tinker a little bit with it until you get the two merge blocks uh, next to each other. Just like this. Now go to the K menu and turn off the projector. That's about it. Now go to the control seat and the G menu and drag down the timer, launch and choose trigger now. Then drag down the printer on and off group and choose toggle block on and off. To fire, turn the printer on, activate the timer block and turn the printer off again. If you like this video and my beautiful voice, please leave a like and subscribe for more cookies.